What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to give you a quick breakdown of the Hall of Champions and everything you need to know, such as how to farm the new Brave Weapons from Onslaught, how to earn a new Parade Armor, and much more. As always, if you learn anything, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. So when you first load into the Hall of Champions, directly in front of you, you'll see a bunch of chests. Similar to Xur's Treasure Hoard from Dares of Eternity, which we've already broken down on the channel, each of these chests are tied to a specific class set of brand new parade armor for Into the Light. In order to unlock this armor, you're going to need to level up your rank with Shaxx and earn a new currency called Trophies of Bravery, which can be earned from playing the brand new Onslaught activity as well as from Shaxx. One thing I should warn you of is to make sure that before you reduce deem any of this armor that you're in the class area that you want the armor for. You want to be sure of this because you can open up any of these chests regardless of the current class that you're on. So if you want a hunter, titan, or warlock piece of armor, just double check by looking at the symbol on the floor below you. Next up, if you head over to Shaxx, you'll see that his vendor screen is very similar to other vendors in the game. In order to earn reputation or rank up Shaxx, you're going to be participating in the brand new onslaught activity as well as doing Shaxx's bounties and Arsite 99's bounties. If we take a look at Shaxx's rank rewards, you'll see that he can give you brave engrams, trophies of bravery, and at certain ranks you'll also unlock access to the brand new parade armor chest that I mentioned earlier. He also has this key here, but I'll get to that in a second. Now, moving on to Arsite 99, which is right over here to the right of Shaxx, this is where you'll come to pick up the brave weapon quest. At the time of this video, there's currently 8 out of the 12 weapons that are available to earn. By completing these weapon quests from Arsite, you're going to earn yourself a guaranteed limited edition curator role of whatever weapon quest you just completed. These limited edition weapon variants, or shinies as we call them, can also be earned as a rare drop from any brave weapon source, including Onslaught, brave engrams from ranking up shacks, and the weapon chest located to the left of shacks. You'll need to spend trophies of bravery if you want to farm from here. The shiny variants of the brave weapons have a very unique look with these gold tips, but aside from their looks, they also come with one extra perk in both the third and fourth columns, which will increase your chances at getting a god roll perk combination due to how rare these shiny drops are and the fact that you can only earn them between now and June 4th when the final shape drops. To be clear, Into the Light is the event going on right now and the shiny brave weapons are only here for a limited time to earn. But Onslaught and all of its loot are going to be staying in the game after we go into the final shape. Basically, you can look at Onslaught similar to Dares of Eternity and how that activity stuck around with all of its loot just minus the limited edition shiny drops. Now you may be wondering, how am I ever going to get the weapon that I want with the guy roll that I'm looking for with all these weapons that are going to be in the weapon pool? Well, aside from having multiple ways to earn brave weapons, and you will get a lot of loot, so make space in your vaults, trust me on that one, uh, you will be able to focus farm these weapons, or attune them as Shax calls it. And to do this, you're going to have to complete the Brave Weapon quest with Arsite. After you complete that quest, you're going to head over to any of the corresponding Shax holograms for that weapon, and you just simply interact with it, and now you've attuned it. So basically, when you now go out to farm, you're going to notice a big increase in the drop rate of that weapon. So for example, if Midnight Coup is the only weapon that you want, you'd go complete the Brave quest for it, then attune it at the hologram, and then farm away in Onslaught, open up rank packages with shacks, and spend your trophies of bravery at the weapon chest. Okay, so one last thing before we leave our site that you're going to notice is that he's also selling that similar key to shacks. Once you unlock the key from shacks by ranking him up, and you earn the key from our site by completing all 12 weapon quests, you'll be able to enter the room behind Shaxx and interact with the Heart of the Black Garden from Destiny 1. And then you'll be able to earn the exclusive Super Black Shader. So if you're a Guardian who wants to rock all black everything on your weapons, your armor, trust me, you're going to want this shader. And that's going to do it for the video. As always, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and join our Discord if you're looking for a community to play Destiny with. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.